I think in other spaces, y'all have heard me say, we have an opportunity to make ballot measures love letters to our people. Road Ahead is important to my work um, and my organization because it's an opportunity for me to collaborate and exchange ideas with a network of people who are often battling the same battles that we are in our organization. And it's an opportunity to exchange solutions. Um, sometimes what happens in Ohio happens before Florida or Texas and vice versa. And so we're able to share what happened, what went wrong, and how can we not repeat that mistake? Or can you connect me with the funder? Or who should I talk to? I have an idea, but I don't know where to go with it. And so BISC and Row 24 um, is an opportunity to really solidify those ideas and reach solutions that I can take home um, and, and put in my toolbox. I think what people need to know about the Road Ahead Conference is it's probably unlike any other conference space that you're gonna find. I literally was talking to folks yesterday who this is their first time, and they were like, this seems so much more fun than, I won't name the other conferences they named, right? <laughs> but then other spaces like this that they've been in, I think what, what Chris and her team have really done is provided a space where you not only get to dig in and learn about some of these topics, right? like what's actually happening in the ballot measure space, how are we utilizing this to sort of achieve a more perfect democracy, right? Um, but you get to do it with some really cool people and you get to have fun, right? Like even though we're talking about some really heavy issues, right? Um, that like news is happening while we're here, there is still joy happening while we're here, right? And we're not sort of letting that sort of take away from the space. And I think it's just that vibe that Chris and her team has created really distinguishes it from other sort of places and conferences of this similar caliber. There isn't another space that is this focused on ballot initiative work. So you can come to other conferences that are talking about the candidate plans, you can come to conferences that are talking about um, the strategy for creating democratic wins in the United States. This is the space to get into the nitty gritty of direct democracy and policy reform. With so many young people disenfranchised from the political system and feeling like they don't have access to true power, especially in the wake of our Congress and federal government not responding to the demands of young people, young black and brown people specifically, doing direct democracy work like ballot initiatives are the only way to re-engage countless young people that we need if we are going to preserve and protect our democracy. In so many states, uh, gerrymandering and uh, other uh, voter suppression and more have gotten in the way of passing policies that reflect the will of the people. Uh, and uh, we see this with the extreme abortion bans uh, that recently uh, came to pass in uh, both Florida and Arizona. And we believe that uh, the majority should have a say on reproductive rights and so many other issues. And so uh, we think that ballot measures are a key strategy to making sure that real democracy exists uh, and that we have uh, policies that tangibly impact uh, and improve people's lives. We are currently right now, uh, earlier in the year doing this planning work. I'm taking away that like there are a lot of folks in a lot of places, local, federal, right, state, who are really honing in and preparing for how do we make sure it doesn't all go to shit, right? Like how do we survive this on the other end? How are we creating that infrastructure, creating that messaging, engaging with folks on the ground um, to ensure that regardless of what happens at the top of the ticket, right, that like our folks are taken care of. Uh, and so what I tell any, uh, any C3 funder uh, is that there are important uh, C3 funding opportunities related to ballot measures that are 100% uh, legal and compliant, can even be paid for with lobbying restricted dollars such as litigation, research, and narrative. And I would encourage any of them to come to Road Ahead to learn more about these opportunities and how we can resource uh, movement building work uh, through ballot measures. The strategic conversation, it's the leaders who are in the space it's the funders, it's the volunteers, it's the staff here at BISC. Everyone here has a role in this movement and Road Ahead allows us to convene our brilliant energy, our skill sets, our talents, and our imagination to make that possible, not just in this election, but beyond that.